I'm Stephanie Anderson. Ah, well, I lived through quite a few tornadoes, but the most dramatic one was around 2001 when I was about 14, 15 years old. We lived in Angola, Indiana, which I can show you on the map if you'll, if you'll follow me to the map. It's right here, Angola, Indiana. It's a little town, and Indiana is what they call a tornado, part of Tornado Alley, so tornadoes are always coming through the Midwest, and um, so we would have tornado warnings frequently, and we would oftentimes go in the crawl space. We didn't have a full-size basement at that house, but this particular one was looking really nasty. So my brother and I, uh, we were good friends with the neighbors who used to work on their farm. They had horses and cows and things like that and they offered to have us come to their basement. So we ran home as fast as we could because it already looked really scary outside. Lots of dark clouds and the sky turns kind of green when there's a tornado coming. And we got our two dogs and we um, got our family members and we hustled back across the road to go to the neighbor's basement. And they had for very wisely left all their windows open a little bit. It helps to equalize the pressure. It makes it less likely that your roof is gonna blow off. So all the windows were open a few inches and we did that in our house too before we left. And we all huddled in the basement with the neighbors and they had dogs as well who didn't get along with our dogs but uh, the dogs realized that this was not the time for a dog fight. There were bigger problems at stake so they all just kind of huddled miserably and stared at each other from across the basement. And we heard the tornado coming closer and it, people say it sounds like a, a freight train and that I guess is probably the closest. Um, maybe even like a jet, just a loud, a loud roar, um, you know, passing by over our heads. And it's over fairly quickly. Like you hear it coming, it goes by, you really only hear it above your heads for a, a short amount of time. And then it was gone again. And we all, you know, hesitantly came out of the basement. I'm like, roof's still on, check, good, all right. So then you kind of do the whole going around looking for damage because it comes through so quickly that you don't even have time in that moment to know what's damaged. It just is just loud and, and scary and and a lot of noise. And the neighbors had a giant red barn with big um, metal sliding doors. These doors were at least 10 feet tall. They were very, the really like big barn doors that you see like in um, farm settings or in movies. And their metal door had been ripped off of its hinges and blown across the field into the neighbor's field. So this is like, this is really, really far down. This is a heavy, heavy door. Um, so that was, but first we just saw the barn door is gone. Where's the barn door? And so then you have to go hunting for it. And random other things were, were, had blown away, but then other things had been untouched. So there was lots of lightweight equipment lying around that did not get picked up, but somehow the heavy barn door had, had blown away. And then we, um, we stopped helping them because we should go home and see what, what our house looks like. Because our house was in the middle of a little clearing in the woods. And when we got back to our house, we saw, uh, we had quite a few trees down all uh, every which way around the house. So, like the house is here, it'd be like tree down, tree down, tree down, tree down, pointing in all different directions away from the house. But the house was mostly okay, except that a large branch from one of the trees had hit my brother's bedroom and had knocked a hole in the in the roof. So he um, he couldn't really sleep in there. We had to put a, a tarp over it until we got it fixed. But we, we lucked out because it could have been a lot worse. There are a lot of areas around us that were a lot more damaged. But uh, with tornadoes, they kind of just hop, cause a lot of mayhem, hop over here, cause a lot of mayhem, and in between everything might be perfectly fine. So um, everything else was okay. And that was the story of our tornado experience.